Welcome to 700 Club Nigeria. With the ever-increasing schedules of parents, looking for a suitable place for our children is no ordinary task. And in the wrong hands, we never can imagine what the horrible experiences these children may have to grow up with. Ali, the young man in our first story, had one of such experiences, leading him down the dark path of addiction. Here is Ali's story. At a very tender age, Ali had a passion for God, so much so that people around him called him a young intercessor because he loved to study his Bible and pray a lot. But then he had an experience that changed everything. There's this lady that was married to um, my God. She harassed me sexually at a tender age. I couldn't share with the people that were around me possibly because I believe they wouldn't understand me. I felt condemned, I felt uh, rejected, I felt alone, and I knew that this is not something I want to share with people. But then again, there's this enjoyable part. The seed had been sown. Ali's life took a turn he never would have imagined. I was smoking cigarettes since from secondary school. I entered into drugs. Uh, hem smoking, bad friends and all that. And then I started having multiple sex with ladies. Ali's addiction to illicit sex, pornography and smoking kept growing until one day. At a particular point, I took marijuana and I ate it. That was my mistake. I wasn't getting high as fast as I wanted, so I added more and more and more. And then it blew up and I knew I took more than my brain could contain. So I cried out, I said, God, I'm dying right here. I'm gonna go mad. But then God made me sleep and had my prayers and I woke up and I threw the rest of the drugs I kept. Even though Ali's struggle with his addictions and guilt remained, God was working out a plan for him. I came into a church that helped me a lot. It made me know that I, I, I had purpose and I, I was living for something higher than this. But also, I had to determine radically to step my foot on the ground to say, look, I have only one life to live, and it's worth it that I know my Creator and I spend my life serving Him. Ali decided to change his friends. Praying and studying the Bible became his favorite pastime. In his own words, I was desperate. People around me had to know that I was passionate about God. I talked about Him. I tried to memorize scriptures. And the deeper I am with God, the farther sin is from me. Since then, Ali has helped young people struggling with addictions by sharing his own experience with them. He believes there is a lesson to be learned in every experience we go through. I gave my life to Jesus. The life is no more mine, it's His. He gave me the confidence and the boldness and uh, the maturity to be able to, to tell people these addictions, to tell people the dark spots in my life and then to bring them to light. And no matter where you are, no matter what you've been through, no matter the state of things that you think you're trapped in, that you think you can't come out of it, God understands what you have gone through and who you are and who he created you to be. I'm growing great as a heavyweight, as I meditate my spirit soars to a realm. Today, Ali is not only a missionary, he's also a spoken word poet, a musician and a rapper. And he is using his talents to draw young people to the love of God. He says, I feel like uh, I'm living the God life and I'm satisfied. God wants us to use whatever we do to share about what he has done for us. And reaching out to people is simple. Just share what God has done for you. And this one quote I enjoy, God isn't just trying to love me or love us as Christians. He's trying to transform us into people that can love like him. I could not have said it better myself. God's love transforms us to be more like him. Are you like Ali used to be and you're looking for a way out? 
I to have gone down that road, and I can tell you, drugs, illicit sex, and bad friends, won't, it won't be the solution to your problems. And if you're watching this program today and you're being physically abused by anyone, whether sexually or otherwise, please, I beg you, don't be silent about it. Silence is the devil's method of holding us bound. Before you know it, a pain is being built in your heart and you will soon start to live the life you once despised. For as many of you who have fallen prey to this evil and you've bec it's become a lifestyle and you sincerely want to change, I tell you there's hope for you. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the joy I need. My freedom from all addiction and pain come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Satan, sin, pain, I let you all go in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, I pray for these ones. I thank you because they are now joint heirs with Christ. I thank you because they've left their past behind. Father, begin a new walk on their inside. Start to change things inside of them. Empower them to become even more focused on you. In the name of Jesus, they will never go back to sin again. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I welcome you to a better and deeper walk with God, whose love for you will never diminish. And you know, we always love to hear from you. So please do give us a call. If you would like someone to pray with you or you just want to share a testimony, call us and you'll be glad you did. <laughs> you can also reach us on our social media handles at 700 Club Nigeria. It's always a swell time online with our Monday Motivations, Talk Tuesday, Word Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Feature Friday, Superbook Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> we have your entire week covered. So do follow and like the 700 Club Nigeria page on Facebook. Yes, and we will keep you up to date with the latest happenings at the 700 Club Nigeria. Now, is pornography bad? And if it is, how do I break free from it? How do I break free from pornography? That, that, is, that is an interesting question for one of our viewers. Yes. Very interesting question. And, and you, know, you know what uh, I think about this? You know what the Word of God says? Mm. Renew your mind. Renew, tra you're, you're transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm. How do you renew your mind? The Word of Just God. Just stay on God's Word. The Word stay of on God. God's word. Replace the, the stuff you might be listening to or watching mm. and replace it, take it, replace it with the Word of God. The Word mm. of God is like something, it flushes you, cleans you, cleans mm. your mind. And you know, faith, faith comes by hearing and, and hearing. hearing. So by the, the word. more you, you incline your ears, the more you give yourself time to the Word of God, your heart is changed, your being transformed, and, and everything is just just becoming better The word for makes you. you new. Gradually, the gradually. You. And be patient with God's word to have a perfect walk in you. Yes. We will keep you up to date with the latest happenings at the 700 Club Nigeria. While I was in the private hospital, the man took advantage of me and raped me. I was so much in pain that I couldn't explain. It happened again. And again, and again. I hated him with all my life. It took me time, it took me years, it took me effort to forget. And I told myself to forge on, I had to forgive him, I had to let go. No matter how much the devil abused my, my body, my physical body, I was gonna love God until I leave this world. I have found that place where nobody can take away my joy from. I've come to know the love of God beyond normal. That's knowing that when I stick with God, my life is made. Up next, CEO Interior Woodworks Limited shares his story on losing it all on his journey to the top and how an unexpected gift changed everything. Let's take a look. Interior Woodwork Limited is one of Nigeria's premier furniture companies. CEO Oduni Masulu came from very humble beginnings and never imagined he would be this successful. Nowadays, you can normally find him either at work or at church. But during his youth, you could find him at a party. I used to be a biker, 
a, a power biker. I used to dance on stage. I used to be a model for shows, you know, and so many other things. I used to go to parties a lot. After discovering a malfunction on his motorcycle that could have killed him, Ojun realized something. Somebody somewhere is in charge of your life. I, I believe that that day it was spoken to me that look at all the things that's been happening, look at what God has been doing, and look at your life. You know, and it just dawned on me that, you know, I need to take this person more seriously. And I made up my mind that day, enough is enough. I've tried this other side. Let me now try and walk with uh, this man, this God, who has been doing so much for me. Oju worked in various occupations until one day he got a job as the general manager in a furniture factory. And I worked there for three years, managing the business, until I had to leave in 98. Where I left um, based on principles, we were not agreeing. It was a good job, but we're not agreeing on principles. And uh, I had to leave and I started my own. I had no doubt, nothing else to do. You know, so with a little, I call it capital, 1,000 Naira then, you know, in 1998, and my wife, a pregnant wife and a one-year-old uh, daughter, I jumped into the, into the sea, you know, and uh, they say when you got into the sea, you had better start swimming. Despite all his hard work, he was drowning. We just could not eat anymore for five days. I mean, we had just a loaf of bread to feed the little baby. We could not afford to eat the bread. I had a small factory in Kano with um, a few machines, generators, some offices and all that. And my rent was just about 150 Naira. Then, not much. But while I was here trying to look for a location and move my machines down, my landlord there, uh, after two months of the rent being expired, he got uh, a lawyer for me, got a lawyer for himself, and spoke to the judge, and they judged the case I was not aware of. And they gave a judgment that you auction all my assets. And everything was sold, everything up to zero. So I was back to square one. Of course, in, in, in such circumstances, you'll be a prayer warrior, naturally. I used to pray at night, I would go outside to the open field and command the winds and the waves. And the more I prayed, the worse it became. And I made, up, I made a covenant with God and I made some serious commitments and pledges. And the more I fulfilled them, the worse my situation became. Because God likes to test if you are a desperado covenanter. You know, if I use that word. Some people, when they are hungry, they just make a covenant. You know, but um, God will always take you through a test to be sure of where to place you. A year to the day Odu made that covenant, God answered his prayer and wiped out his debt in one day. Somebody called me. How much are you owing? Take. It's a miracle. To me, that was like walking, crossing the Red Sea on dry land with Moses and Israelites. It was that magnitude of miracle. How much debt were you owing? Then, about 1.8 million. And that man gave me two million. To me, that's my Independence Day, April 9th. <laughs> we have a, a vision that we run with. We're not just here to just make money, make money, make money, no. We have a plan to be in every household in the next 30 years. That is, every house in Nigeria will have our product in the next 30 years. I believe that in business or in any your endeavors, there must be a vision. When you run that vision well, the Bible still, God told Joshua, it will prosper your way, and then you will have good success. And with good success comes usually uh, good income. Besides running Interior Woodwork Limited, Odun is also a pastor. His goal is to use his business platform to further the kingdom of God. The word is available in the Bible, the written word. But uh, what is lacking most times is the active word. 
you know, that is we living as Christians for others to see. And it's a big challenge because we are human, you know, but um, I've tried to live, like I said, I could have gone to find that man that stole my property. In fact, before then, I was owing some people and they labeled me fake pastor because who I was owing, I could not pay them. But when I got some money, I called all of them without they looking for me. And they saw that I was willing to pay them without um, them bothering me so much. The word they said concerning me changed. And they now say, oh, this, this is a man of God. You know, so I've tried my best to be calm and humble and to let people see Christianity in me. Odun has advice for all those desiring to be an entrepreneur. Trust God. Be, be prosperous. Prosperity is not just wealth. If you look at uh, Joseph prospered, he was in the prison, he wasn't a rich man, but he prospered. It means that uh, he made progress. Whatever he did, he, he did it well. He was moving from one point to the other. So we should always ensure we are moving from one point to the other as businessmen and live a good life worthy of his praise. Interesting story. This man's life is a miracle. It's a miracle. Jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what, what got me when he said, the more I prayed, the more I fasted, the more I sowed seed, the it, more, it the wasn't more working. The, the troubles, the more the trouble. <laughs> and you know, that, that can happen in, in our lives it happens. most times. And it happens. It just shows that God, God is press. has heard our, our prayers, but there are forces that are fighting against he it. He needs you to but press. see where he came from. Yes. From a biker to a model to a dancer, mm -hmm. all the way, and God brought him all the that way. way. Amazing, amazing. The journey, God is always there, just listening, just putting things together and orchestrating our entire lives. True that. Beautiful, beautiful. And the miracles, the miracles. Out of nowhere, someone comes. After he's done all, you know, the funny thing is that he still kept, he was at it. He didn't it's, stop. It's mind-blowing. And that's, I think, real life. Yes, that's real life. You should never like said, stop. The active word. Yes. The active word. The Just... doing the word of God. The doing the word of God. And then from nowhere, two million. His independence Pop. day. <laughs> Just like that. Amazing. <laughs> that, that is beautiful. That, freaks, yes. that is beautiful. <laughs> Just do his will. Yes. Even when it doesn't look like it's making sense, but we're still and at it. it turns out to make good. Yeah. Earlier, I talked about how excited we get when you share your... Amazing things that God has done in your lives with us. On the program today, we would be sharing one of those testimonies, so do not go anywhere. 700 Club Nigeria will be right back. Hi, my name is Finn. My name is Uchi. My name is Obina. Julie. Susan. Mali. I'm an accountant. I am a chemist. I'm a surveyor. I am a mother and an entrepreneur, and I'm a member of the 700 Club. Looking around my environment, I see a lot of people in need. Some die from waterborne disease, lack of basic health care, complications from childbirth, and so much more. And when I follow the news, I see many more of those in need. I long to help these precious people. But there's so much that one person can do. But when I join other people who care... There is no limit to what we can do to put smiles on the faces of the needy around us. That is why I joined the 700 Club. People who care. Now we can break the circle of poverty by empowering the poor and giving them hope. Please join me on the 700 Club team. Together. Together, we can change our world. One life at a time. Let's make a difference. Become a 700 Club member today. Hi, my name is Angel. I'm a designer and I'm a member of 700 Club. I realized that being a partner helps me to get to places I would normally not be able to reach, bringing smiles and hope to people I may never physically meet. It's truly a great opportunity. Why don't you join me today? Become a partner and bring sukkah to the lives of individuals nationwide. With just a phone call, a message on our social media handles, or by visiting our website and filling out our online partnership form, you'd be well on your way to becoming a 700 Club partner. God bless you. Esther Anneli writes, 
I am a first year student of Optometry. I like your organization and I used to watch your program on AIT before I went back to school. May God bless you. When I graduate as an optometrist, I want to reach out to the world through your organization and help people with eye errors. Thank you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Esther, we are super glad to be part of your story. May your dreams to give people better eyesight become a reality. God bless you. Keep the testimonies coming and we will take as much as we can on our program. You can send them to our Facebook or give us a call. We'll be glad to hear from you. It's been a very interesting half hour. Angel? Yes, it has, Edward. Watching all the deliverance and the addictions of Odun's miracle gift and cleared all the deaths, restored his name. For me, this shows that love, that God kind of love, always brings victory over and over every circumstance. Well said, well said, well said, Angel. Love always wins. Romans 8 verse 32 reads, He who did not spare his own son, mm. but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Yeah. Victory inclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till will come your way again. Stay victorious because love won it all for you. Goodbye. God Goodbye. bless you. <laughs> Premier Gospel. A very good morning to you. This is Lady T on Premier Gospel, where we bring you the best in gospel music for life. The sun is shining, and uh, you are in for a musical treat this morning. Now, I want you to take some time out, tell someone that you love them before leaving, and then when you're out, also share the love of Christ. Now, here to get you our singing and dancing this morning is. Onye by Evans Oboy. Somebody magnify the Lord with me. Lord my God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. I will praise thee as long as I live. I will tell of your wonderful love. Been more than a friend, even I don't deserve it now. And with all that's within me, I raise the song of praise to you. Come on, everybody, let's celebrate our great and mighty. It's worthy to be praised. Lord my God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. I will as long as I live. Tell of your great love. You've been more than a friend. 